nephritic syndrome okay now today we'll be talking about acute nephritic syndrome so acute nephritic syndrome is defined as swelling and onset swelling of the body edema characterized by flowing fissure okay now let us talk before uh, talking about definition let us talk about the pathophysiology okay so this is glomerular basement membrane okay and this is efferent artery arteriole and this is efferent arteriole okay so there is presence of jz receptor okay so um, let us suppose the inflammation is going on on, on the glomerular basement membrane so when there is inflammation that is take, taking place in the glomerular basement membrane then what happens there will be leakage of the protein okay there will be leakage of the protein mainly albumin okay when there is mainly leakage of the uh, protein then uh, that will cause proteinuria okay that will causes proteurine okay there will be presence of protein in the urine okay and when there is inflammation process going on then the body try the arterial try to uh, vasoconstrict to prevent the infection uh, to prevent the infection that will be circulated to other part of body okay to prevent systemic circulation this will be constricted okay this arterial will be constricted when this arterial will be constricted when this artery will be constricted what happens what happens there will be less blood that will be going to kidney when the less blood is going to the kidney then there is decrease in the gfr okay and, and the fluid is not filtering as well so what happens there will be decrease in the urine output as well okay so one is there is protein urine another one thing is what there is there is decrease in the urine output okay and next thing is that when the protein is leaking through the through the urine then what happens so in the body there is there is decrease in the level of the protein when the protein level decreases and what happens there will be there will be what there will be oncotic pressure will be decreases when the oncotic pressure decreases then what happens hydrostatic pressure will be more than oncotic pressure then what happens there will be edema okay edema so what happens when there is edema then what happens the fluid will be collected in the after the blood vessels in the cell the fluid will be collected what happens there will be soiling okay this soiling happens within few days okay within certain days within few days or within certain days so what happens there is protein urea as well there is what happens the urine is going to, protein is going through the uh, urine okay and there is uh, there is next thing is there is decrease in urine output because the maximum amount of fluid is not passing through the kidney so there is no filtration there is decrease in the filtration rate so there is what happens there will be decrease in the urine output and there is rash system activation that is hypertension because one coating pressure is decreased okay so when the there is less blood in the blood vessels then what happens everything is leaking out no what happens there will be less blood in the blood vessels that so if there is less blood in the blood vessel then what happens the bp, is, BP will be decreased so when the bp decreases then again renal artery sends that bp and that release a rain and when there is release of rain then what happens the rash system activation okay when in angiotensinogen system get activated so what happens there will be increase in blood pressure that is hypotension okay so this is the things okay so this is the things so now we can define okay now we can define acute nephritic syndrome acute nephritic syndrome is defined as swelling on onset swelling of the body urea characterized by proteinuria less than 3 gram per day hematuria rash system activation that is hypotension decrease in the urine output due to inflammation in the glomerulus okay so there is shortness of breath more mark because proliferation of the parietal cells present acuity okay that is one of the reason as well and uh, the fluid are leak in the through the pulmonary capillaries okay so that will also result for shortness of breath and there is aggressive acute renal failure okay so these are the things we have to know about acute nephritic syndrome now how will investigate uh, there is acute nephritic syndrome the patient is presenting presented to you and then how will you investigate so initially we will uh, we will uh, investigate with urine routine microscopy electron microscopy okay in these things we can look for albinuria hematuria rvc cast dysmorphic cast okay and now uh, to find out the cause our target is to find out the cause because there are different cause of acute nephritic syndrome we will discuss further more as well Today, the short introduction video of the acute nephritic syndrome. Okay, in here we can have urine routine microscopy, albinuria, hematuria, RBC cast, dysmorphic cast. Okay, and then we have to find, to find the cause, we have to look for ASO titer. Okay, suspect if we suspect or leukos, then we have to do ANA and DSANA. Okay, and if we suspect of IgA nephropathy, then we have to diagnose if there is presence of IgA. Okay, so now, so 
to diagnose this thing there is any information any disease is going on what are the step we have to do for okay so we have to do renal biopsy so this is the confirmatory diagnostic okay so we'll investigate initially urine macroscopy will be do for okay? and then we'll approach for other uh, we will be uh, do another other investigation and lastly we will do renal biopsy and the renal biopsy we will be doing with different microscope okay in light microscope in uh, electron microscope and next thing is fluorescent microscope okay so these are there are three techniques three microscope okay light microscope we will see in the capillary proliferation is going or not okay so in primary cells in the form of intercapillary proliferation with polymorphic nuclear cells we will be looking for okay and in electron microscopy we will see the deposit okay so these are the things we will be talking further in the next video thank you